Kabul, that is his native village near uh, Faisalabad. Uh, remember he was uh, killed on Wednesday in Islamabad as he was uh, leaving his parents' residence uh, in the morning. An investigation has been launched and we know that around at least seven uh, suspects have been arrested by the police in Islamabad. Also, the Federal Interior Minister Rahman Malik has said that he would resign if uh, a lapse of security is proven in the case of the assassination of uh, Shehbaz Bhatti. Um, there has been tight security across the country as well as uh, in Islamabad when, uh, when Shehbaz Bhatti's funeral took place today. Uh, many are mourning his death and lots of uh, countrywide protests have uh, erupted. His killing comes, of course, uh, after uh, late Governor Punjab Salman Taseer uh, was also killed uh, in relation to his views on the blasphemy law in Pakistan. Uh, Mubin Chukta, your correspondent, is uh, once again on phone with me. Uh, Mubin, give us some details. What kind of uh, security uh, can we expect? Uh, because uh, this, of course, is a sensitive gathering, if I may call it so. Uh, Mr. Shabazz Bhatti was killed because of his views on the blasphemy law. Well, it's uh, very problematic at uh, this particular moment, Vakas, because although in the morning the, the, the entire program which was set uh, by the, uh, by the uh, federal as well as the provincial uh, government, uh, it stipulated a lot of police presence at this particular venue. Keep in mind that uh, Shehbaz Bhatti, just like you mentioned, was also uh, assassinated because of his views and therefore this entire burial could be a potential target for the people who did that. Uh, the uh, Taliban have uh, accepted responsibility for carrying out this attack earlier in the week. But at this moment in time, what is also to be considered is that uh, uh, there are rumors that this uh, could, uh, this murder could also be a part of, a, uh, of uh, some kind of planning uh, and in which certain police officials could also be a part of it. So at this point in time, uh, the police department, which was supposed to uh, have a very heavy uh, presence at this burial, uh, is also uh, kind of confused about whether it should be there or not because the crowd is so rallied up. Uh, that it could attack police officials also on site. All right. Do we know what is happening now? How, uh, at what time will uh, his body be buried? Because we can see um, a huge crowd there, as you're telling us, um, uh, Mubin, and of course we can see that in those pictures. There's some kind of a sermon, I believe, going on as well. Absolutely. This is a part of the uh, traditional Christian service, uh, the, uh, the final burial. But uh, uh, although the uh, final burial itself was scheduled for uh, early evening, uh, because it is such a very large crowd and because these uh, sorts of uh, very, uh, high profile burials might take some time, it is still very uh, unclear what precisely the time will be when the burial will take place. But it is scheduled for tonight, so let's see how that goes. Okay.